Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. Um, we're on day 224, which is our day when we do something different. So the different thing we're going to do today is we're going, I'm going to invite you to write a poem just for Halloween. Um, because that's the day that this falls on. So you can use any aspect of Halloween you choose. You could write perhaps a poem inspired by it. Perhaps it'll be a ghost story. Or perhaps it'll be about a pumpkin. Um, it's completely up to you to choose. Um, so any aspect of Halloween and that's all it is. So that's what's going to be different about today. Minimal instructions and just a poem for this specific day in our calendar. Um, I'll put some poems on the site for you to enjoy, which are Halloween poems by other people. Um, I'd be very um, appreciative of any you might put on as well. And I'll read you mine, which I've called um, All Hallows' Eve. October, tenth month, turgid waterlogged fells, rivers racing seaward, peat gold, frantic. Sea trout pinking up to spawn and die. Last day, even the bones can feel the cold of biting northern winds bringing in November. Said to be All Hallows' Eve, saints or haints, Samhain. First day of winter, here comes in the darker half of our year. Bring your soul cakes, your huesos de santo, your dishes of milk for the dead and the gone, your turnip lanterns, your trick-or-treating, ghoulish children, and life carries on. We will not see the sun today. Foreboding mist envelops the hills. October closes the curtains early, lights the candles, for a slow burn to spring and with a ceremonial blowing out of the candle I shall say bye bye for today and I'll see you again soon.